do is we're going to kind of make a little statement of what we know and what we think we can convey, and then we'll do the best we can to answer any questions, um, understanding that this is still an ongoing investigation. At 7.15 a.m. on Thursday, yesterday morning, the 14th, the Buffalo County 911 Center re received a, a call uh, at the communications uh, that a, a woman uh, was found out front of her residence. At that time, it was a medical call, she was, uh, and she was just uh, being called in as non-responsive. Uh, investigation revealed initially came out um, upon initially came out as a medical call and upon further investigation it certainly found that um, the uh, woman was subsequently identified as Nancy Peterson a 58 year old female at 7510 Long Island Road uh, the investigation revealed that it was not just a, a non-responsive medical call and that she had a gunshot wound to her back uh, based on uh, some communication with uh, Hall County and with the with the Grand Island Police Department uh, we obviously were aware that there had been a homicide the night before in Hall County uh, based on some facts that we had and some investigation some frankly some outstanding investigatory work by both here in, in the city of Kearney uh, the Buffalo County Sheriff's Office and our uh, partners over in, in the Grand Island Police Department we were able to put together somewhat of a timeline and identify the person that we were looking for and that being Michael Peterson an, a 58 year old male uh, based on that uh, it was a long day of, of communication between the multiple agencies uh, including the Buffalo County Attorney's Office and the, and the Hall County Attorney uh, that expanded into working with the Adams County uh, Sheriff's Office and, and uh, certainly the, the Hastings Police Department and then also the Clay County Sheriff's Office um, and that's where and when uh, last night uh, Mr. Peterson was taken into custody. He's now over in Hall County. That's a quick overview of the facts with respect to what we know here in Buffalo County, what we can convey here in Buffalo County. At this time, uh, Buffalo County Attorney's Office has not charged Mr. Peterson, but uh, I anticipate that in the next few days we will seek a warrant for first degree murder of Nancy Peterson that occurred here in Buffalo County. And with that, I guess we would we would attempt to answer any questions if unless Sheriff Miller has something he'd like to add, or Chief Lynch. Do you have an approximate time of death? We're as it is a continuing investigation. We just we we are we are confident that it was on Wednesday, um, but we are we are working on narrowing the time of death down right now. Were there any recent calls of, or reports of disturbances out at Nancy um, Peterson's residence in the last couple of weeks or days? Uh, no, there were not. And do, uh, who reported finding her body to you? Are you releasing that or? Well, we'll just say it was a neighbor. A neighbor reported that to us. Is there a relationship between the three people? suspect and the two victims? There is. Um, obviously uh, that relationship was that uh, uh, the Grand Island victim was uh, Mike Peterson's uh, attorney and uh, Nancy Peterson who was shot here is uh, Mike Peterson's ex-wife. And they had gone through uh, what appears to be a, a very rough uh, divorce. How long ago did Nancy and um, Mike divorce? Was that not 2002? I believe it was 2002. Was there ever, uh, to your knowledge, was there ever any reports of domestic dispute between them? There had been some reports that had come in during uh, that time frame of that divorce. I don't know those exact dates, but uh, we did get, so we did, law enforcement did have contact with them. Has there been any recent legal action filed um, uh, against the Grand Island victim with our suspect, or was the last time they interacted um, with the divorce proceedings? Well, I, I can tell you, there's been interactions. There, there have been there have been legal proceedings since then. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I don't have the details on on the exact dates, but there certainly have been um, different disputes since 2002. Sounds like you, Sheriff Miller, shared a lot of information with Grand Island PD. What led them to Michael Peterson? I think we're aware of a bit of the surveillance, that type of thing, but 
what kind of led them directly to Peterson? You know, I think that uh, just the fact that we found out that they had had the shooting and we started talking with them to starting to compare notes um, it caused this thing to head that direction. Uh, certainly there was communication between their investigators and our investigators uh, in this part of the country, two homicides happening that close together uh, that uh, within the time frames that they did uh, probably is not coincidence. And so um, we did contact them and reach out to them about what they had for information and start comparing notes. Were there any suspects at any time other than Mike Peterson? Um, obviously, you, you go through the list to see who you think could be involved and you start eliminating uh, or at least looking to see who that your, your number one is. So I would say that uh, from the beginning until where we are now, he was always uh, at the top of the list. Peterson family members, did they have children, grandchildren? Have you been able to find any of that information? The, the two Peterson's of them, sister. yes, yeah. they, ha they have a son. Any idea how old he is? Uh, you know, I don't know for sure. What are some of the next steps that you're trying to establish in your investigation? Well, obviously, um, you know, everybody's working together on this thing. We've got Kearney Police Department's been with us from the very start. Um, you know, these investigations take a lot of manpower. They take a, a lot of time. And so what we're going to want to be doing is continuing to work with everybody who's involved in this, those that the county attorney mentioned, and make sure that we're comparing notes, that we're sharing our information so that we don't miss something because you've got two different crime scenes that t are totally related to each other, but yet happened in different jurisdictions and with different agencies as lead agencies in the investigation. The good news for us is with our scales group, uh, the law enforcement group that we have in central Nebraska, uh, we know everybody we're working with and so we're very comfortable working these investigations together and doing this thing because we've done this many times prior to this. So. Um, uh, the next steps are we've got to make sure we're comparing notes, we've got to make sure we're communicating well with each other, and there's going to be, you know, things like uh, shared evidence and who's going to, you know, who's going to hold evidence, or, and we'll work those things out. The county attorney's office here, along with the Hall County Attorney's Office and, and our other law enforcement agencies that we're working with, we'll get that all figured out. Now, their uh, divorce case lasted uh, three years. There was 160 uh, filings and motions. Uh, did anyone talk to you guys about how this massive divorce was? You know, I, I mean, were we aware of all that? No, we were not. Um, again, as I said earlier, we did have some law enforcement contact, which, you know, we knew that uh, that, that was, uh, they were having some issues with that divorce, but to the extent of all the civil proceedings, no, we weren't, we weren't aware of uh, the number of filings that were in that case. Will he be held? There? Where is he being held and will he continue to be held with that jurisdiction? Well, he's currently in, in Hall County. Now, whether he, he continues to be held there, that's, that's obviously there. There are a lot of factors that go in there. I, I would assume he'll be there. Um, from the standpoint of once Buffalo County files charges, again, that'll just be a coordination between uh, Buffalo County and, and, and Hall County as to when court hearings uh, take place. We, we trade prisoners and, and do those transports all the time. Which department actually made the arrest of Peterson? As I understand it, uh, Adams County Sheriff's Office and the Nebraska State Patrol did the traffic stop um, just on the outskirts of uh, Hastings. Um, I think that Clay County might have been there. There were a number of, of uh, agencies that were involved in that traffic stop, um, and Hall County had made the decision at that time to, uh, to make an arrest in their case uh, with that traffic stop. What are potential charges you're considering then? First degree murder. Does Mr. Peterson, minus the divorce proceedings, have any other court history, any other criminal history or record? You know, I'm not, I, I don't know for sure on that. Um, yeah, I did have his criminal history and I ran it. I don't recall exactly what was that, what, what was, um, we had some we had certainly contacts, but I don't recall the exact criminal no, history. No violent offenses of any kind that you can recall? Not, not that I can recall, no.
Was it simply the history between the two that led you to Mike Peterson, or was there another piece of evidence? Well, I, the, obviously the history is important, and I don't want to speak for, for the, the gentleman next to me. The history was important. Um, obviously, that's always a place to look. I, and, and just to be clear, I mean, in, those, in these circumstances, having been through a, a number of investigations over time, everybody is a suspect until, until they're eliminated. Um, but you're certainly focused on, on people who've had problems in the past. And so, uh, but there, was, there, there is other evidence, uh, there was other evidence, but we just can't discuss it right now. Was there any indication that um, there were other, he was planning any other um, uh, murders, uh, or that these two were the only ones that he was targeting? To our knowledge, um, these two uh, murders were uh, all that we know about. Um, obviously, he could have had other plans, but these are the two that we know, um, and we don't have any information of anything else. Were there any Buffalo County sightings of Peterson? You mentioned you, uh, your research tells you the crime probably occurred Wednesday. Any sightings in Buffalo County of Mr. Peterson that time frame or in that vicinity? Again, I think with the fact that it's an ongoing investigation, we're going to defer on uh, where we go with that. We're trying it. I know, and I don't blame you, but uh, you know, the first, uh, first uh, consideration here obviously is we want to make sure we. Uh, protecting and taking our case. Can you walk us through the traffic stop in which he was found? I mean, was he just pulled over and recognized, or was his car spotted somewhere and pulled over? <coughs> and again, that happened over in Adams County. I was not at that traffic stop, so I don't know how the events uh, went down exactly. Um, uh, you know, I, I guess you'd need to ask them how that, how that went down. We, we can say that we had been involved with the multi-jurisdictional investigation. We'd been involved with uh, understanding there was some surveillance going on. We were looking for some from, for specific vehicles with specific plates. And so uh, once he was identified, um, it, it wasn't a shot in the dark. He'd been under surveillance thanks to, to good work down there as well. So, um, but as far as the actual facts of how the, the traffic stop went down, you'd have to ask them. Would you consider this domestic violence related then, I guess, to being that they're divorced? Absolutely. And when was the last time we had a domestic violence related homicide in Buffalo County that you recall? I'd have to do some research. I, I Long time. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't recall off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. I don't think in my tenure, 15 years, Okay, um, I think we're going to wrap up with it then and I'd uh, like to thank everybody for coming and uh, as we uh, get additional information um, through the law enforcement here or through the county attorney's office we'll be doing additional uh, press releases and faxing them out to everybody and, and getting information out as we get it uh, that, that comes up. So uh, you can expect to hear from us on that and I think we've got everybody's fax numbers in so uh, if they're not correct, please make sure you let us know if you didn't get notice about this. And with that, I'd say thank you. Thank you.